Hello friends, the next 7 star terror raid event is now live featuring Pikachu in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and in today's video we're going to cover all of the details so you know exactly what you're going up against in this raid event. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel, remember you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So if we hop over to our trusty source at Cerebi, we can take a look at all the details for this event. It is running from February the 24th to February the 27th, and I believe it is February the 28th to 59 UTC when the event actually does end. So Pikachu will be level 100. It will have its hidden ability. It will have Lightning Rod like we suspected. The moveset it's gonna have is Thunder, Surf, Play Rough, Iron Tail, and then the only additional move it's gonna have is Rain Dance, which is gonna boost the Surf and the accuracy of that Thunder, making it 100% when the rain's on the field. Kind of putting a bit more importance on bringing Sunny Day to these matches. It is gonna have the Mightiest Mark, and it will, like we thought, hold the Light Ball, which is gonna give it a boost to its special and physical attack by 50% making it very strong it's going to have that water terror typing and it is only catchable once per save file so you can't catch it again and again in the same game one game one catch for the pikachu seven stars and then we'll have a look at the item drops so the base item drops that you are going to get these are pretty much guaranteed every terror raid that you go into which is pretty awesome you're going to get six large candies four xl candies five calcium 20 terror shards then another 10 terror shards so whatever your terror type is you're going to get those terror shards which is pretty nice and then you're going to get one tm i think that's surf that's surf so one tm surf and one ability patch and then the random item drops on top of this which are all going to have a different percentage as well per raid that you complete uh, after this because if you catch it then you can go in and farm for these higher item drops by just beating it over and over again you're going to get the chance to have more large candies rare candies more calcium xl candies star piece comet shard nugget quiet mint pp up bottle cap more water terror shards ability capsule and an additional ability patch so some really nice item drops so that's all the details and this is the only pokemon that will be appearing in this event so unlike the other seven star terror raids where we've had kind of partnering pokemon in spotlight raids to go with them this one is just a Pikachu on its own. We're not going to get any additional raid Pokemon along with this one. But to get this event in your game, all you're going to need to do is come down to your menu and go to Poker Portal. And then down in Poker Portal, you're just going to go down to Mystery Gifts. If you've been around this barbecue a few times, I'm sorry. But for those of you who are new, you want to come in to Mystery Gifts and then check Poker Portal news. This will connect you to the internet. And by doing it, you'll get a notification message saying that uh, your game has been updated and this will in turn make all the terror raid dens available to the current raid event now the raid event itself although it does expire on the 27th of february it will stay in your game if you don't go online after this date so until the next time you go online you'll keep this event in your games so once you've done the update all you want to do is disconnect from the internet and then come back into your game and open your map so when you open your map you are going to want to look for the seven star raid den and as you can see there will be one here it looks like a six star raid but because of the terror typing we know it is the pikachu event and our other six star raid is down here so we know it's not that one because it's a dragon type so we just want to mark it on the map and head over to it so once you've found this six star terror raid you can come into it for this one we're going to try out meow scarada because we know it's got that light ball i want to try and knock it off it was one of the options we had in our build preview video that we did a, a couple of days ago on the channel if you want to check out those builds then you can check them out on the top right hand corner but knockoff was one of the options that it did say if the light ball was present it would be quite an effective way to at least remove it from the pikachu at the start of the battle so it's not hitting as hard so the damage output that it would be doing is going to be cut in half so we'll see if we can get this knockoff off turn one so as we see that it is setting the screens up turn one like we did say in that preview article i did have a, an inkling think about it might set the shield up uh, just to give it an extra buff because the pikachu is going to be pretty weak otherwise and by doing the shield turn one it does give it a really good way wow and uh, you can see the power i mean that 
was a, a not a critical hit on us. Critical hit on God of War, though, dropping that does a lot of damage to us with that light ball. So why it's important to be able to use the knockoff to try and get rid of the light ball if it is holding it. Yeah, and there we go. We get rid of the, the light ball. So through the shield, knockoff will work, of course, and it's not going to be hitting half as hard now. So that is going to be something to consider going in. The other thing to think about is, unfortunately, the fake tears is not going to work. And a lot of options, unless you've got stuff like acid spray, is not going to work against the Pikachu because uh, the shield is up. So the status condition moves are not going to be what you're really wanting to be using. I think we're going to faint this next turn. So I'm just going to try and launch a frenzy plant off because it is a powerful attack. Should do a decent amount of move with plus two. Oh my gosh, we're doing no damage at all to this Pika. Literally no damage. And we're getting knocked out as well. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's terrestrialize. We're plus six. Frenzy plant into it. Let's see how much this does when we're terrestrialized. Because up to now, Frenzy Plant, base 150 grass type attack is doing literally nothing to this thing. Plus six, plus six, might I add, as well. Like, this is just ridiculous. And we're fully IV trained, EV trained, optimized to the boots, but not, not doing anything near what we need to be doing. Okay, okay. You need to be terrestrialized to be able to do damage to this thing. Like, otherwise, it's just not gonna work we have been able to solo it with meow scorada i think it's down to the fact that the knockoff is such a powerful option on it otherwise i think it would be very very difficult if it's still holding that light ball with that um 50 boost to uh the attack and its special attack there's the pika going down so there we go level ball pikachu and here are the item drops six large candy four xl candies 20 water terror shards there's surf ability patch star piece star piece comet shard uh, so we get some nice drops there as well and the ability patch as well so these item drops are extremely good for this event um it's going to take some working out to get the perfect build for this but there's such a reliance on needing to be terrestrialized to beat this Pikachu because otherwise you're just not going to be able to do the damage with it. But there is a little Pikachu. It does hold the light ball as well. So that is nice. And it is going to have the mightiest mark, which we can attach to it. Uh, going to have a quiet nature, which is interesting. And then the move set of Thunder Surf, Play Rough and Iron Tail level 100. Obviously, it will be max IVs as well. So a special Pikachu for us to get and a nice one as well. So you've caught the Pikachu. If you want to get another one, you can just use this handy little trick. Come onto your map. You will then come into your home menu, come down to system settings, then down into system, down into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is off and then come down to date. Just click through in your date and time to OK, just like that. Hit your home menu, come back into the game and all your raid dens will respawn and you will also respawn the Pikachu den as well. So you can see there it is. So you can just go through and even though we've caught it once, we're going to be able to take it on again and then farm a bunch of these raids over and over and over again. So that is everything for this brand new Pika Terror Raid event that we're having now in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I hope you found today's video useful. The Pikachu is pretty tough, especially with the shield going up at the start of the battle, meaning that a lot of moves that we were thinking we could rely on in these terror raid battles are pretty useless. So a lot of the sets that we covered in our best builds will have to be reevaluated, and I will be putting up a video very soon with the best Pokemon to solo this Pikachu raid with. So stay tuned for that. If you've enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, do subscribe to the channel and let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this terror raid event. I think a lot of us probably underestimated it. It's a lot harder than what I initially thought it was going to be. But thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a lot of fun taking part in this over the weekend, and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.